And the way I see it is that sometimes you just have to believe God when he says that he will prepare a table before your enemies. You have to believe that. All right, y'all. Hey. So just here in my thought a little bit and, and thinking about some of the things that's been going on lately. And I got to go turn that air off because I hate it every time it comes on. It's so loud. It, it even hurts my ears, y'all. Right now my ears are so sensitive. So let me get up and go turn that off. It won't on a while ago. It ain't been on for a whole hour. And now I want to come on. Let me grab me two of these eggs over here. Now, I know this is later than I usually cook. Uh, and that's fine. I didn't even put on there that I was cooking. But, yeah, we're going to chat while I cook something to eat here. I am hungry. Yes, I am. <clears throat> These last couple of days, I've been having a few issues. Health-wise. But I believe it's going to be all right. All right. Whew, sometimes I just had to catch my breath. Okay. I baked some potatoes yesterday. And I believe I'm going to just make a like a potato soup or maybe just some mashed potatoes. <laughs> some mashed potatoes and add some cheeses to it. Fried potatoes sound better though. Fried onions and potatoes. I could do wonders with that. <sighs> okay. So I got to clean up my pan. I have not done that today. Let me get that out of the way. And I can stay as long as I want to tonight because I already done Kiva. If you want to hear Kiva Empowerment Podcast for Women talking about anxiety disorders, go on. It's on now. It's airing right now as I am speaking. I'm right here on Spreaker. It's called Kiva Advancement Empowerment Podcast for Women. And I am speaking on the different anxiety disorders covered for them today and these anxiety disorders is why others sometimes are bad to people that have not even done a thing to them i thought about that thing today and i almost just cried you hear me i almost cried into tears because uh People are just so convinced that they can hurt others and never have to pay a price for it until that price has to be paid. Everything we do out here is a price that we have to pay. Now, what you want to pay is according to your faith. If you believe that you can treat people wrong, sabotage people, try to intimidate people, if you believe you ain't got no specks in your eye, you don't believe you need redeeming or you don't need saving, by the Lord himself, I understand you. I hear you. But that also means you don't believe in discipline. You don't believe in conviction. Conviction, Convictions that hit our heart cause us to change and become better people. But if you don't believe in Christ, how are you going to be convicted into becoming a better person? I mean, how is your heart going to be touched? Anyways, uh, let me grab me. I do think I want soup because my throat is sore. I got to peel these potatoes. Oh, I got some olive oil. Let me pray over it first. Hey, I'm always on here praying over my olive oil. Anyway, story on the olive oil is someone keeps taking it. I don't know what they need it for, but it keeps getting missing. 
I buy it, it gets missing. Okay. Ooh, that makes me want the eggs. Okay, let me go on and pray. Okay, that's always a sentimental moment for me. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I do have these taters that I want to do. How about... I don't know. I'm just going to put them in the pot and we're going to see what's going to happen. That's all I can say. Because I'm honest, I did not plan nothing to eat for today. Yeah, okay, getting back to what I was saying is, for some reason, people think that they can do things to others and get away with it. I put, for the thumbnail, was some washing powders I had brought. And my washing powders is half poured out, as you can see in the picture when you go back and look. Instead of, you know, I did the online Walmart shopping thing. I always do. I know, I need to just stop and start going in these places myself. Probably would get better products. Anyways, um, I, uh, ooh, these taters, I don't know, y'all. They might be some good. It looks like I overcooked them last night. Ooh, they dry. Ooh, I'm gonna have to add a lot of something to it. <clears throat> Anyways, I have been finding myself lately just... In a world of where God is convicting me of things that I say and things that I do as well as, you know, telling others, you know, don't you want to know Christ? So that whenever you are doing wrong, you have someone who will come and let you know, hey, that's the wrong path. You don't need to be going down that road. I'm glad that I have a father who cares. But I still am going through... Times of harassment were like today. I brought these white beans. I only brought one can. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I don't mind people giving me food or anything like that. But it's disrespect whenever you're doing it as harassment to harass someone about their grocery order or to, you know, try to cause intimidation. Because you handled my food. So I know it was done on purpose. How do I know this? Because the washing powders was empty. The, the washing powder is still sealed up. But y'all know in the stores they got the equipment to see the opening and close, right? They can seal anything they want to seal in the store. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. Oh, man. Well, let me turn this over and see if I can do it like that. Nah, I ain't even going to worry about it. I'm just doing I forgot to put the onion in there and be already cooking the onion. That's what it was. No problem. I'm going to do a roasted uh, sauteed onion and potato something. Maybe mashed. I don't know. I want it kind of soupy like because my throat is sore. I don't know what happened, but I drank one of my electrolyte packets today. And this is why I probably will not buy any more of those. Something was in my packet. It hurt my throat and I've been had a headache ever since. So see, none of these things are coincidences. This is what people is doing to me as a form of harassment, thinking that this stuff is not going to come back on you. Well, it is. It's coming back. You you bet you, you everything in your body is coming back on you. Everything that you are doing to me. And it's not I, I don't even I'm not even having anxiety about it. I'm not paranoid about it. I just know I got hold of something that wasn't right. 
and my throat right now is burning. My gums were throbbing off of whatever it was. And somebody laid the pack so smooth right where I sit at. And, you know, I know that I had a pack that was over there yet last night, and I didn't move it. Because y'all know they're still coming in my house, too. Yeah. They come in my house and left some disinfected sprays. And I was like, it's every time I buy a disinfected spray, it gets missing. So I, I stopped buying them. Now, all of a sudden, I have three bottles of disinfected spray that shows up. Three. Now, one bottle, I haven't tried the other ones out, but that one bottle, I went to go and see if I could uh, spray it. And it it didn't even work. It was full. It was a full can. But they messed the spray nozzle up. Mean people. Mean. Just mean for no reason at all. Treating me mean. Me bad because I don't know. I don't know what I supposedly done. It, it, at this point it don't even matter. Because now I think they're just doing it. Because they bored. And they need money. And they need people to harass. To make themselves feel better. At this point. That's what I believe. Alright. I got all these taters peeled finally. Finally. I don't know what seasonings I want to put in it. I just really want a plain potato. Whatever was in that packet, y'all. My throat is hurting so bad. Shout out to Miss Netta who keeps... uh. Uh, with Mr. Netta with his ugly self, he's just ugly in heart. I mean, you just ever meet somebody that's ugly in heart? That man is ugly in heart because he he goes on there. And a lot of things I do throughout the day in my household, I keep telling y'all that this man, he copies how I talk. He copies how I wear my hair. He copies the clothing that I wear. And what I mean by the clothing is sometimes he tries to have the same style, but he just, you know, he got them expensive clothes. My clothes are cheap because I ain't trying. But I do want some expensive clothes one day, but not the today. But he keeps uh, making sure that I know that he's watching me. Y'all know what these organizations is. Don't play dumb. Some of y'all are part of it, too. Yep. Some of you are part of it, and that's why I want to talk to y'all while you're listening. Don't, don't go out. Don't go out like that. Don't go out trying to make people like me. Oh, man. I dropped that all the way in there. I did not mean to do that. Don't go out trying to make people like me. Feel bad about my lifestyle or anything. Don't do that. You got a life too to live. And you must be forgetting that what you do to me is already done to you. And it hurts my heart when I see people getting sick. And, and with some of them dying from all kinds of diseases and things. But yet they're spending their, their last moments, their last breaths trying to intimidate me and make me feel bad about my life. Y'all, get some water. Uh, I'm going to add some green beans in there. Yeah, I think I will. I'm going to add some green beans in this mix. But it does. It hurts my heart to see people thinking that society can bless them like God. Can't nobody beat God's giving. No matter how hard you try. You can't do it. And them that promise you that they can do it, they telling a bald-faced lie. They can't do it either. Oh, let's see. They cannot do it either. So don't be 
I know y'all want to be part of something, but dang. Targeting out people who are just going about their everyday life and not even bothering nobody. Just sitting at home, really wishing that I could. Just wishing that I could do more than what I do. It upsets me because I see family. I see family who do it. I know my family members who are part of it. All of you. And even be having my mama participating in stuff like that. Oh, I'm not going to get into all of that. But I will say this. You got to keep in mind, it's going to come back on you. still is. But joining society... We was talking about functionalism the other day. And functionalism, uh, y'all hold up, I'm looking for stuff. <laughs> I'll be back with y'all. Oh, man. I will be right there with y'all. Just give me a second. See, y'all hold up. I don't see what I'm looking for. Over here. What about here? I'm getting bit by things in here. Let me. Oh, okay. I see one. I can use this one. Hold up. I just saw something. You know what? I did buy some uh beef stew. I know what I'm going to do. I'm, I brought a can of beef stew with some potatoes and all things in it. What I'm going to do is just cook these extra potatoes for later on. Yeah. It got hot in here. And I felt something bite me. I'm having trouble with these baby spiders in here. It's it's really bad. I don't know what else to do. I've I keep sweeping them down. I'm gonna try some herb stuff and I'm gonna try some sprays. Hopefully that'll that again, but meanwhile, y'all, you can't even see what see them until they bite you or. Let me see. Sodium one twenty. Half a cup. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Now, how much sodium is? Seven forty. But I'm not gonna eat all that. So. Uh. Yeah, that um. Ooh, I'm getting hot. I don't know if I'm going to be on here long because I'm going to have to cut the air on. But we were talking about how people function in a society, okay? And we do need each other. Regardless of what you think about me or think about him or her, we need each other to a certain degree. Because that's the way God made us. The fellowship among each other. And when you pull that structure off and under somebody... Like me, for instance, when I found out so many people was, you know, against me, you know, that sends a person into anxiety, depression, uh, major depressions, because you don't know who to trust anymore. And some people give up on life, okay? that's They do. They give up on life. What am I looking for? Uh, 
Y'all, I'm trying to cook this stuff and okay, let me do these beans. Some people give up on life because they feel like nobody wants them, nobody cares about them, and that they really don't have nothing else to live for. Even though they have children, and I do talk about the children all the time because sometimes parents don't feel like their children love them. And they have reasons why they feel like that. Now, sometimes they discuss it and sometimes they don't. I have a better understanding now of things that my mama used to try to tell me when I was younger. Than I did back in the days. I get it now. I sure do. I get it. Oh, Y'all, I got bit by something. And I think it was one of them little baby spiders. Right on my neck. But I can't even see them in the ceiling. I know I'm jumping conversation. I mean, top is it's hot. It's hot and I'm hungry. And this pan is not coming on quick enough. Anyways, society will have you hating people who have done nothing to you. And you think that they love you because you're joining in with them. First of all, if they're hating somebody, that cannot be love for you. They're not going to love you if they they teaching you how to hate. Or they want you to hate people. That means you got to do something in order to be accepted. So once you stop doing what they want you to do, you're back out there by yourself. Oh, this feels bad. You be by yourself, so... I just hate it got to be like that. But I guess you got to have the good people, you got to have the bad people. I don't know why I came on this podcast knowing that I was not feeling my best today. I wish I know what that was I drunk. It got my whole right side of my mouth hurting. It got my tongue hurting. The back of my throat burning. It feels bad. Don't let society trick you. And make you think like it can't happen to you. Because what happened to me can happen to you. You can get done the same way. Organizations like that need to be shut down. People need to be charged for that kind of harassment. Unfortunately, the ones that do the charging and, you know, prosecutors and all that are part of these type of harassments. So I just don't, you know, trying to get somebody to believe you that you're being targeted and uh, harassed is hard to do when officers already know what's happening to you. They do. They already know it. Oh, gosh, really? This thing is not coming on, and I'm ready to move from over here. Anyways, y'all, I, I really didn't have much to say. I mean, I was good till I got hot. And now I just feel like I'm, I don't even want to cook this stuff. But I got to. Because I don't feel good. Mm. Maybe I should just go ahead and eat this egg. I believe my sugar's dropping. I don't know. Last I checked my sugars, it was about two hours, maybe three hours ago. It was 120, so maybe it is dropping right about now. I need to go ahead and eat. That's why I was trying to go ahead and cook. I didn't want to have to eat my eggs this early. I wanted to eat my eggs with my food, but considering how I'm slurring right about now and sounding a little off, I better go ahead and eat that. Now, that is the side effect of that manjaro, y'all. That is the side effect of it, is that if you don't eat on time, that... Your sugar levels can drop, and that's probably what's going on with me. I'm probably down to about a 90 right now. Yep, probably down to about a 90. 
So I'm going to go ahead and eat this egg. Now what? When it starts getting in my system, I start coming back to myself for a little bit. I was trying to wait to, but I couldn't cook fast enough. Because this thing won't come on. Uh, what do I want on this egg? It's actually good just the way it is. I just wish people could understand what it feels like to go through what I'm going through. Where everywhere you go, there's somebody who knows that you are a target. And because of that, they start doing the same thing that the others do. Because they let you know that they're all one big creation. Mm -mm. Now, that season is hit the spot with that egg. That's about like people who get fat shamed all the time. I'm heating up this food now. Oh, hmm. People who are fat shame, they develop anxiety and they don't want to go do things in public anymore. That's how it is as a target. Once you realize that people are laughing at you and that they know everything that's going on in your house, they know every word that you've said, it hurts. It hurts a lot. I train myself to, when I start feeling down, to really get into the Bible. I sure do. Train myself, go right to the Bible, girl. Go find you some preaching. Don't matter what station you're on. Go find some preaching. Okay, I'm coming back to life now. Okay. I told y'all. Oh, that's the second time that has happened to me. The second time. What has happened to me where my sugar levels have dropped a little bit lower than I'm used to. And I start like kind of fading out. Let's see if my son then ate. I could share a meal with him. Let's see. I'm back. I'm coming back to life now. That one egg. See, that's why I had the Ziploc bags, y'all. So I could keep. I need to be keeping, like, food on hand. So that when I feel myself going low like that, I go ahead and eat. Now, I used to see this happen to my daddy before. I used to see daddy go through the same things. He would be uh, just sitting there talking to you. And if he hadn't ate in a while, next thing you know, he'd just be going out. So I know when it happened to me the other day on here, that's when I was like, oh, yeah, I got to watch out for that then. But uh, my daughter was up here, and we, we did a thing where we were testing our sugars. And mine, I can give you mine. Mine was 120, and I had just ate. I had just ate, like, um, a Lunchable, piece of Lunchable. 
I had ate a cake, a zebra cake, yes. And I had ate, I had did a protein shake a little bit earlier. The zebra cake was the snack. And I did, oh, come on brain, come on brain function. We're going to eat in just a minute. And I did what? Some nacho Doritos. That's what I had. And so for my sugar to be 120 something, 120, it, that was good. Real good. I'm cooking all this stuff in the same skillet. Show sure it. And I should have some left over for later on the night. Now, see, when I have to eat like this, these small meals. Okay, y'all, we're on the subject of Manjaro. This is my week seven. When I eat like this, these small meals, sometimes I just don't be hungry. And I'll sit there and I'll just keep doing what I'm doing, whether I'm on the phone or what. And I have to really remind myself, hey, get up and go eat. Hey, you didn't eat. Go eat. And that's like every two to three hours I'm having to go eat something. But it's not big meals. It's small meals. And that's why they, they leave out my body quick. Because they're small. And that's why I try to eat things like the fruits and vegetables. Something that have sustenance that will hold me. And takes longer to come out the body. Or to come out the bloodstream. Whole wheat and grain. I be trying, y'all. I'm learning. I'm learning it. I am learning this thing. Let me see if he hit me back. Yeah. That felt strange. Okay, I'm finna put in here now this denty. I got denty more. 10 grams of protein per serving. Beef stew. Now, this beef stew is high in sodium. But given that I haven't really ate like that today, but three things. Did y'all hear what I said I ate earlier? That's all I've had. Come on. Come on. Uh, there it go. Got that out. Got to make this work. Because I was... Whew. But week seven, each, each week I'm learning something different on this Manjaro. So y'all excuse me if I'm a little slow and slurred. Like I told you, I just figured out what was wrong with me. It's because I didn't eat in time. And I just ate a boiled egg. It gave me a little energy back. But I've got to eat my other foods. Hey, where is my spoons? I'm going to need a spoon for this be right back. Gotta add me some healthy fat. But week seven, so far I'm doing pretty good. But moments like this is what you gotta be careful of. Or at least I gotta be careful of. That was scary just then. Started dozing out.
heating that up. Whew. I think I'm losing weight. One of my dresses I tried on that I the dress I wore to the high school reunion, it's it was loose on me. So that that's the indication that I'm losing weight somewhere. It was real loose around the chest area. And the shirt I have on now is loose around the chest area. Can't say too much about around the waist area, but around the chest area. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I just feel like something is biting me. Again. I'm going to come through here in a suit, one of them little hazmat suits. And I, I'm just going to spray something really good because I can't be doing this. This is too much. Too much, too much with these spiders. You know, with, when the, with this season here, spiders coming in? I can't even stay on top of it, y'all. So just forgive me on today. Forgive me. Just forgive me. Tell my son this is ready. Just forgive me on today if I'm I, I'm just out of it. I'm not gonna lie because I'm hungry. I went too long. Time be flying when you're having fun, but I know better now. I'm gonna have to pay more attention. <laughs> I got a pain in my jaw. Hurting bad too. On the real, I don't trust people like that no more. Nope. Not I. I tried to. I tried to trust people, and it seems like every time I trust people, right time I get to trusting people back again, they start doing things that lets me know that, hey, I'm one of them. Every time. Okay, let me get these green beans in here. Let me get me some of this. Dentist. Okay. Whatever was in that doggone packet, ever since then, I have not felt the same. My face has been hurting. My throat has been hurting. It just don't feel right. Okay, y'all, I'm going to taste this food. And I'm going to let y'all go. I'm sorry I wasn't right tonight. But that happens sometimes. Got to make sure I keep them levels up. Let me taste this, see how it is. I don't know if I'm going to be able to even chew it because my jaw hurting so bad on my right side. It's okay. can't chew like I want to. Okay, y'all. Peace, love, and happiness. I just gotta go. I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta eat so. I will talk with y'all tomorrow.